But but just to define the term yeah. AI agent for someone that's never heard the term before. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, I assume most of the audience now are familiar with the chat GPT, right? You can go in and you can talk to an AI. It can search the web for you. It has a limited amount of tools. Uh, maybe it can call a calculator to do some additional subtraction for you. But that's about it. It's a request response style. Agents are when you give it a request and they can work indefinitely until they achieve a goal or they run into an error and they need your help. It's an AI bot that has access to tools. Those tools are access to, the, to a web browser like Operator, access to a programming environment, say like Replit, access to um, you know, credit cards. You know, the more tools you give the agent, the more powerful it is. Of course, there's all these considerations around security and safety and all of that stuff. But uh, the, the most important thing is that AI agent will determine when it finished executing. Uh, today, AI agents can run for anywhere between, you know, 30 seconds to 30 minutes. Uh, there's a recent paper that came out that's showing that every seven months, the number of minutes that the agent can run for is doubling. So we're at like 30 minutes now. In seven months, we're going to be at an hour, then, you know, two hours. Pretty soon, we're going to be at days. And at, at that point, you know, AI agent is doing labor, is doing kind of human-like labor. And actually, uh, OpenAI's new model, O3, beat the expectation. So it, it sort of doubled coherence over long horizon tasks in just three or four months. So we're in this massive, and I mean, this looks, this exponential graph, you know, that, that shows you the massive trend we're on.